Karma Control in the woods again. Uh, I'm going to try to talk about 2018 and what led me to getting uh, a prescription for HRT at the end of the year. So, um, I'm also pulling ticks off me out here at the moment. So, uh, I'm getting a little freaked out about that. But, I'm going to try to get through this. Um, because I really love it out here. And uh, especially, you know, right here is my waterfall. Check me out over here. Yes. Okay. So, moving on. Um, Alright. So, I got with my wonderfully amazing wife seven years ago. Uh, we had two kids then. Uh, but before that, we each had a child from a previous relationship. So, after our two kids, that added up to four. Um, okay. Fast forward to uh, a little bit further. I proposed to her. We didn't get married um, yet because we couldn't afford it. It just was going to be crazy expensive. She wanted to do it big, you know, like on TV. We wanted to go all out and everything. And I was like, hell yeah. But we couldn't afford it. It was a little unreasonable. So it, it just something was... It just kind of sat in the back for a while, and we carried on with life and raised the kids. Um, but early in 2018, I brought it up again and said, what's up with it, you know? Are we going to get married? I really want to get married. What's going on? When are we going to do this? And and I told her, you know, uh, that last we spoke, uh, we didn't proceed because she wanted to do it so big, and we couldn't afford it, and she said, well, yeah, you know, and I told her, well, let's do it, but just do it as big as we can, you know, and um, she said, hell yeah, so we made plans to get married, um, we picked a date and everything and started making plans, right, okay, then we kind of started talking about having another baby. We talked about it for a week or two, and we actually tried once or twice, maybe three times. That's it. And then after that, we were kind of both mutually like, yeah, I don't know if we should have another kid or not, you know. And that was it. We stopped trying at that point. Okay, and then um, the wedding date kept getting closer and closer. And as it got closer uh, and closer, I realized that I didn't want to wait till the kids were grown to try HRT, which was initially the plan. I, I thought it best to wait until the kids are grown and out of the house for me to try HRT because I, you know, I knew how hard it would be on everybody. But as the wedding day got closer, I, I realized, you know, I was, that I didn't want to wait that long. I would be bald and 50 something at, by the time the kids are grown, you know? And hell, I might die by then, so I don't want to die regretting not having done this. Um, so I told her that. I told her I didn't really didn't want to wait. And we had a long and deep conversation, of course. Uh, it was it was scary for me because I knew she could possibly walk away at that point. We weren't yet married, you know. I was that's why I was telling her then so she had that option. I didn't want to surprise her after we got married. That would be pretty messed up. And um she talked and thought about it or we talked and she thought about it for a while. She took a day or so and she kinda finally came back to me and said that she did want to marry me and that I was her best friend and she wanted to stay with me and this and that and so I was like, Great, okay. So I kind of got the go-ahead to make an appointment for HRT, you know, I told her that it would make me happy and hopefully a better father and all around and everything, you know, I guess if I'm more happy, then that's good for everybody, right? So I made an appointment uh, with a local place that uh, operates under informed consent and um, plans got underway for that. All right, and then, then she told me that she was pregnant. That, uh, and um, you know, we were both surprised because we only tried two or three times at most, like I said. Um, but there it was; she was pregnant again. So, um, 
she was worried, you know, or scared, because we had complications from the last one. She had to have a C-section. It was pretty scary. But I told her everything was going to be okay, you know, and I held her, and I said, you know, it's going to be all right. And, and, um, and, um, so that was that, right? Uh, so finally we, uh, let's see, we got married. And then I had my appointment with the endocrinologist at the at the doctor, and um, that was really crazy going in there that first time. Um, definitely was nervous, but they were super nice, and it went pretty well. And uh, I came back for my second appointment, did blood work, and was able to get a prescription on that second appointment which was amazing so very awesome because I wasn't sure if I was actually going to get it that second appointment or not because it, it could have gone on a little longer but I got it and I was super happy to get that day and I'm on my way <laughs> and so she's still pregnant still have another baby coming and um uh, since then I've came out to my mother, I told her, I told my oldest daughter, I haven't figured out how to tell the little kids yet, um, that's a hard one, I don't know how, you know, they have a hard time understanding at their age, but I told my oldest, and we've talked quite a bit about it, and that's pretty much where I'm at right now, um, I've been taking little steps, uh, you know, towards transitioning, uh, I figured just do it little by little, not all at once, I don't want to shock everybody, but, um, you know, just taking little steps, um, they all know that I guess that my legs are shaved and my toenails are painted and, um, my, my youngest ones had some questions about that and were definitely, you know, like a little confused um from which I still didn't have a really good answer for them but like I said little by little um hoping I can drift in that direction without um making too big of a splash I guess you could say and so that's pretty much where I'm at with that um I don't know about the transition as far as how it's going to go or how I'm going to do this exactly, you know, at all, it's going to be difficult and crazy and hard with, uh, work, um, and with my kids, especially the little ones, but I do know that, um, I'm happy with the effects of HRT thus far and the way things are going and the direction I'm headed with all that, you know, I, I'm, uh, I'm going to keep going at this point, um, so, yep, alright, peace.